welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing an unboxing of Ipsy Glam Bag and Ipsy Glam Bag Plus. Let's go ahead and get started because I uh, have a lot of work to do tonight, okay? <laughs> okay. Here is the adorable bag for the Ipsy Glam Bag. Um, I had somebody tell me that they thought it looked like Clueless, and I agree with that, but I've never seen Clueless. I just, I just know things. Okay, um, so let's go ahead and dive in. Let's, me, I'm gonna go ahead and dive in. Um, first thing in here is from Sophia Isabel. It is Defi Define Me. It's a perfume, like it was a rollerball. It is currently not in here because the, you know how rollerballs have like a plastic piece that pops down into the glass? Well, the plastic piece won't pop down and it, it's very fortunate that it did not spill everywhere. Um, so it has a different home now. Um, it smell, it was okay. I don't think I really cared for it. It had a lot of vanilla smell. My mom said she liked it, so I was just gonna let her have it. Um, next is from Sugar Rush, which is Tarte's sister brand. This is a lash smoothie. I, oh, this is mascara. I thought this was like a, like a lash serum. Eh, I would have used this in my video had, had I known. Or red. I did not use this this morning. It smells like play -Doh. Okay, so I'll have to use that another time. Um, next in here is from Lower East Side Eyeshadow. I did not use this this morning either because I got a palette in my Ipsy Going Back Plus. Um, but this is the shades. This is a pretty pa little palette. Um, this is why, if the formulas are right, um, they'd be kind of great for traveling. Like if you're just doing like a weekend trip or something, you didn't want to take a lot. There's a shimmer and three mattes. And they're like not stupidy, stupidy? <laughs> Stupidly crazy colors. So that's neat. And then what else did I get? That was three things. Okay. Next, I got this Sophia and Maybell Wet Blush. I have a wet highlighter from them, and I really liked it. Oh, I didn't feel this with my finger yet. This feels so good, and it was, it was so pretty. It went on. It blended great. Oh, that was so soft. I love that. <laughs> and then the last thing I got in here, right? That was five. Yeah, that was five. Um, is this Farah liquid lipstick that's what I've been wearing all day today. It stayed on really nice. Like, I don't, I re I don't typically do this bold of a lip to teach kindergarten because I'm doing this before work. But today I am. We applied a couple of times, like, on the inside here because it rubbed off. But, like, it hasn't been like going below my line. I did use a little bit of a lip liner, but not a whole lot, just in some places. But I was very impressed. I am impressed with Farah things most of the time. I really am. Okay, so I think there was a card. I don't know if it has anything in it. They usually put prices for the Ipsy Glam Bag, but never the Plus. I don't, I don't get it. Um, the full size of the Sophia Maybell blush is $18. It does not say what the full size actually is. The full size of the fragrance is $29. The Sugar Rush Last Smoothie, Lash Smoothie Volumizing Hemp Mascara is $23. The full size of the eyeshadow in City Chic is $19. I don't know if that's full size or not. I would think that it'd have to be bigger quad to be that price and the full size is $16 no it says that the blush and the city chic eyeshadow quad from LES beauty less beauty is $19 that's a full size I got two full size products huh that's kind of personally that's kind of small I think for a palette unless it's amazing I guess but I'm She'll probably won't buy it but anyways next let's go on to ipsy glam bag plus and there's only like one thing in here um first of all i want to talk about i have no idea where this came from maybe did i redeem points is that on the history can you say 
as you re I mean, I know I had a broken thing last month, and I never got any response from them whatsoever. So maybe they just sent this? But anyways, this is the Balm, the Balm and the Beautiful eyeshadow palette. Sorry, I ate a lot of food for supper, and my tummy's really full, so talking kind of is making it worse. <laughs> so these are the, come closer, the, those are the shades. Um, it's kind of your just typical Balm palette. There's Cut, Green Screen, Autograph, Makeup Artist, Roll Credits, Red Carpet, Chick Flick, Cliffhanger. I usually have pretty decent luck with the Balm palettes. I just really wish I could remember where this came from. I'm really far away. Forgive me. But I am so full. I did it to myself. But still, I ate too much. Okay. Ah, okay. I keep track. This is actual things from the bag now. I wish my camera could zoom in a little bit more. Okay, this is Murad Clarifying Oil Free Water Gel. Um, I think I'm going to give this to my sister-in-law. She has some acne problems. And so I think this might be good for her. This is something I have looked into for her anyways. Um, she's used the Ordinary... I can't remember what it's called, that AHA, BHA mask twice, I think, and her face is already clearing up, or her skin is already clearing up. Um, so this one's oil-free, and she has really oily skin, so this might be a good, like, sample for her to try and see if it's anything that she could use. $44. I mean, I don't, I know she doesn't want to get started on expensive products, but sometimes they have sales, or like, uh value packs. Okay, I tell you, I know I'm not my perky self. Next is from Vagon by Happy Skin Original Skin Essence Toner um, with chamomile, 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 calendula, and aloe vera juice. I have been putting aloe vera juice in my loaded teas. I cannot taste it, but it's supposed to help with your digestive tract and skin. Does my skin look I do get compliments on my skin sometimes. It's a lot better than it used to be, but like my natural skin is still not where I want it to be. I want to get rid of the pores, some redness, just um, I don't know. Like some people you can just like, they can not wear makeup and their face looks perfect. Mine just, no. No, 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 no. Okay. Apparently I picked this. I don't remember picking this, but there probably was limited choices. Wow. This is $49. This better be good. And the rest of them are things that I tried on. So in this right here, this is Laura Geller's Baked and Blush, bl Baked Blush and Brighten Marbleized Blush. And I already own it. I think I got it in a boxy lux, Like one of the first boxy luxes, maybe. It's really pretty. I don't, um for it too much. It worked nicely with the Sophia and Maybell um, blush. I see it, it barely went on. But it, I mean it did find it like set that wet blush this morning so it was fine. So I'm gonna figure out something to do with that one. Either save it for a gift, <laughs> pass it on. Okay that's three things. Okay and that blush I guess I picked that too. I guess I should have paid a little bit more attention. I probably wasn't around my makeup whenever I chose to know. And I should just pick something else even if it wasn't something I wanted. Um, it's a $28 blush. Sure. And next I have this thing. This thing? This bronzer. By Shades by Shan? Shan? San Francisco, California. You are very beautiful. Oh no, my battery's dying. I better hurry. Okay, I like the tone of this. It went on just dandy. And I think it's a pretty good bronzer. I did not, I don't really have any complaints with it. I don't know if you can even, like, my makeup still looks fine, so it stayed on nice throughout the day. But that bronzer is $15, so it sounds like they're not a very, like, overpriced brand. And the last thing was from Il Maquillage, this um, eyeshadow quad. A lot bigger than the one, um, in the Itsy Glam bag. Um, it's 
it feels really luxurious. I know I've said that before about Il Maquillage things in the past. Um, this worked really well. I really liked the shimmers in it. They were very buttery and delicious. Um, and this is $36. I feel like this is, I don't know how much Charlotte Tilbury's quads are like this, but I feel like this is, if it's cheaper, I feel like it's trying to be like Charlotte Tilbury. If they're the same price, I have no idea what their motive is. So, um, because I could see this like trying to be like a Charlotte Tilbury knockoff type, but that's expensive and I wouldn't pay $36 for four of these. But anyways, um, oh, here's, did I show you the bag? It's very Clueless-esque as well. Um, but, um, I enjoyed these two bags. I said this in my BoxyCharm video that... Um, I wasn't impressed like by first glance, but after using some of the products, I was more impressed. That battery thing just keeps on flashing more and more and more. I thought I forgot to turn on my mic. But, um, yeah, I enjoyed these things. I'll put them on my, in my, like, used daily container. Um, but yeah, I am very full. I need to go for a walk. Um, have a great day. Whatever you're doing. Have a blessed day. Okay? And, um... I'll see you in the next video. Bye!